Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport and um, today we are doing the final championship in the Road to Race Tour. Now like I said in the last episode this championship will have gone by the time this video and that video have gone out but still I wanted to do these championships because I really enjoyed them and I figured why leave something half finished. So uh, yeah and we're going to be in the 911 GT3R so the racing version of the car we were in the last episode. So uh, yeah let's see what it's got going for us. Porsche's racing history with the 911 is legendary. 911s have racked up over 30,000 race victories and countless championships across the world. You'd be hard pressed to find a place where this mark hasn't won over the years. The GT3R race car is based on the GT3 RS and like the road car is the product of endless refinement. It's built not to be a peaky monster ready to bite its driver at the slightest mistake but tuned to be a trusted tool, lap after lap, hour after hour. The GT3R is comfortable at the limit and mechanically dependable. Perhaps that's why so many racers look to Porsche when winning is all that matters. So yeah, we found with the RS version that it was quite unpredictable at times with its under and oversteer. We tried to correct it, but yeah, we just weren't able to, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we actually get a few choices this time round, um, all different kinds of uh, 911s um, in terms of being racers, so uh, that is a surprise. Um, we've not had that option with any of the other ones. So we've got the 2018 Porsche number 73 Park Place Motorsports 911 GT3R, which has the following stats, which are all fairly well rounded, and it's got 493 horsepower and 338 pounds feet of torque from its 4 litre flat 6 weighs 2,887 pounds, so that's not as much horsepower as the road going GT3 RS, but it's not a million miles off. And then we've got the 2015 Porsche number 91 Porsche Team Manfi 991 RSR, which has slightly less power, slightly less torque, but also slightly less weight than the 2018 version. Um, but yeah, weirdly, it does have more acceleration despite having less power but also less speed and then we've got the uh, 2017 Porsche number 92 Porsche GT Team 911 RSR so this has the most power out of the lot and the most torque but it does also have the most weight as you can see and stat wise well it does have the uh, second best acceleration but it has the best handling and the best braking which is tempting to be honest because obviously the handling and the braking in the previous road going version was a little bit iffy so uh, yeah um, but obviously it will cost us 304,000 credits whereas I already have the uh, the part place motorsports version already is that enough difference in terms of handling to really want to get spend another 300 grand uh, I'm saying yeah I just feel like saying yeah. Right, so let's get it. It's going to cost us a lot. Um, we're not going to have much money left, but you know, we'll earn some more money, and uh, you know, I can earn money in many other ways on this game, regardless. So, uh, yeah, what race are we going to be on? We're going to be on the Sebring International Raceway full circuit for four laps. So let's get there and see what happens. Right, so I had to kind of edit around what just happened there. Uh, my cat was desperate to get in the door, and uh, that was a bit interruptive. So, uh, yeah. They're in, and uh, yeah, we're in onto the race. So uh, yeah, let's knock it down to six laps. Quite a short race this one, but then we do only have medium tyres, so uh, that is something we're going to have to look out for. It's something we avoided with the previous championship purely because, well, I figured those rear tyres would be eaten up by its uh, somewhat unpredictable handling. So hopefully here handling will be more predictable and the tyres will be saved. Let's 
tends to struggle racing race cars to be honest. Still, but it's a to drive. Because I drive, cars more. 
those games. So let's get that on my head. This car can do better than this, obviously. Settle for fifth. We have obviously have been in worse positions on a first race on a championship, but we've also been better. I think the GT3 RS, for instance, was we got into fourth. So, oh no, we were in seventh actually in that previous championship. So yeah, we've done better than that one, but yeah, we have done better than that as well uh, than fifth. So, but still a decent enough start. 20 points in the bag to start with. So yeah, still everything to play for. So uh, yeah, let's get on to the uh, next race. Before we get there, we can upgrade the car. Right, let's see what upgrades we can give this vehicle. So we obviously can knock out the restrictor plate, which does restrict obviously the power. Um, we can go up to 533, 700, that is a big leap. That's nearly 200 horsepower just from increasing the airflow even more. It's a massive amount. Um, yeah, I'll go for that. Um, brakes, surprisingly not aren't, aren't race brakes already, but yeah, that'll definitely help as well tyre compound, well we can't change it back to uh, sport or anything like that unfortunately, but we can at least widen the tyres to make them even better and we can lighten the drive line. So yeah, we're lighter I think, uh, I'm not sure if the uh, wider tyres have made it heavier but regardless, even if we are slightly heavier, we are far more powerful than what we were more than 200 horsepower extra uh, I don't think there's anything else. No, so massive increase in power, also an increase in braking performance and handling. So we should do pretty well here. So we're at Spa. There's a great many of straight line speed on this uh, track. So yeah, hopefully uh, that will uh, be of benefit to us. And only three laps this time, but it is again a longer track than Sebring so but those tyres did hold out despite my reservations about the race tyres they uh, 
did not Spa wear down. Spa is in an area of Belgium that sees some of the highest annual precipitation in the country and is notorious. So hopefully they won't wear down here. Although, granted, we have given the car a massive boost in power. So, uh, the tyres could easily get overwhelmed, but hopefully not. We were already quicker than the Corvette, even in stock form, so we should be able to get past them fairly easily with this. Now it's more powerful.
this one round. So it has more power than any of the 911 before. It's like a big number. But the RSR or whatever it's called, the Goldwing version currently. Exactly, but all this is an RSR as well. It's a thousand horsepower, whatever it's called. For the life of me, when it was on a Porsche, it was on a Top Gear episode. One more lap. Competing against the German Top Gear team. speeds we're getting up to. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. So, uh, yeah. Tyres held out. We Good gained 11 places there. to get first place. Had a pretty quick lap, although not the quickest. The Audi there was slightly quicker than we were. But still, got the first place, and that puts us now into first place overall, gaining four positions over where we were originally. So, uh, yeah. Still everything to play for though, as you can see we're only two points ahead of second and only four point, uh, six points ahead of third, so yeah, could still go either way, so let's move on to the next race. Let's see what we can do wherever we are. Ah, Maple Valley, so uh, yeah, quite a fast circuit and there are five laps, so those rear tyres could end up be letting go here, so uh, have to keep an eye on those, but yeah, there are a lot of fast corners here. I don't think we'll get up to the same rate of speed as we did on Spa, but we'll still probably get up to about 160, so yeah, we're hardly going to be slow, but it's more the fast corners that are going to be uh, the concern Naval here. Full circuit has a number of elevation changes that will challenge you to experiment in those fast downhill... Don't know why it gives you a practice run in the dark and then the races in, in the day. Doesn't seem very helpful. And the rolling start, which is good. Let's to save the tyres while well, it's lighting them up on the line. Well, 
this race has gotten off to a flying start.
Obviously not as good as the previous race, because we were second instead of first, but yeah, I'm glad we actually got that, because at the end of the day, like I said, those tyres well were going to wear down, and they did wear down quite significantly, and we could have easily uh, been unable to uh, compete anymore, so uh, yeah, I am fine with that, um, has closed the gap on us uh, for second now, there's six points in it, um, but yeah, that entire top three, five has actually swapped around. Second place has dropped to seventh. Third place has dropped to sixth, and then everyone else has moved up above them. So, yeah, they didn't do particularly well, as you can see, only getting eight and three points respectively. So, uh, yeah, but still everything to play for because we could easily come for fourth or fifth, and therefore not have enough points to get the championship overall. But this car has overall performed pretty well now, uh, especially with all of these upgrades I've given it. Maybe it doesn't have doesn't has the unnecessary amount of power that it has, but I found it really rather fun to drive. And uh, yeah, we're going to be on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, so uh, yeah, this is a obviously a pretty formidable circuit. It's not a track I say is, you know, particularly competitive for racing. It is great to drive around on, on solo, as I've done in many a video, but I don't think it's particularly great for racing. So. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that turns out, because there are a lot of skinny parts of this track. There aren't that many overtaking spots outside of all the straight lines, or at least the speedier parts. So yeah, we'll have to see how we do. Racing on the nearly 13 mile long Nürburgring Nordschleife dates back over the tires years. should last, because even though it's nearly 13 miles, it is only the one lap. Let's pretty get the sure. The Trying to work it out now. 2.99 point times 5 was 3, 6. Yeah. Maple Valley, 5 laps, was longer, or is longer than the uh, length of this track. So the tyres should hold out. At least long enough to the straight. I'm not sure can we get away with this for one lap. We'll go with 25. So at least we're slightly lighter as well by, three, by knocking 3% of fuel off. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get overtakes on this. Especially because there have been so many cars. GP circuit is not
to what the hell? It's calm. Calm.
turn off the fourth. I think the points will work out in our favour regardless. Yes. Well done. Right, 12 points. Because many fathoms deep. Whatever that is, um, was only a third. So they were a decent amount of points behind regardless of whether or not they're going to win or not. And yeah, Willy Bits. Ah, oh, very funny. Um, was even further behind than that. But they did gain a massive five places there from that second place win I think it was so uh, yeah they did pretty well but we did more consistently over the entire championship and that's what's given us the win overall so yeah a fun road to race tour this was uh, really rather enjoyable way more enjoyable than I was expecting it to be because I'm typically not a fan of racing cars so I was dreading that side of it but for the most part they were pretty fun um, especially this Porsche which yeah I love the fact we give it more than 700 horsepower which Made it a real treat to drive, but unfortunately did not solve the top end issues as uh, yeah we were topping out about 180, where as that BMW surprisingly was even quicker than that. So uh, yeah, but nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, hopefully see you in the next one, which will most likely be the mid-engine racing tour. Nonetheless, though, bye.